Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Edge that generation from year 2010 to year 2014. If you need to find guys where the all-wheel drive fuse is located, which fuse you need to check where it's located on Ford Edge, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys, and you need to find, let's say the fuse on that for edge for fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that, all you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two, you're back on the road, guys. So that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can. So guys, the all-wheel drive fuse where well, you can expect to find it, we will demonstrate on this generation 4 edge right here. Now, guys, most of you that own that generation 4 edge do not know about all the hidden fuse boxes. That's okay. That's why we made conveniently one video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on 4 edge. What you guys need to do for the all-wheel drive system, open the hood on your 4 edge facing the engine. That's your car battery on the right side here. On the driver's side, you have a fuse box. Press these two tabs, open the cover, and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so that fuse guys it's known as an all-wheel drive fuse some people call it transfer case fuse or 4x4 fuse let's zoom in now guys please make sure to stay until the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us if you guys see that row of fuses right here okay that row now starting on this side that's fuse 67 68 69 70 fuse number 70 that will be the fuse guys that you will need to check that 10 m fuse right there so guys this generation ford edge has all kind of different fuses and relays fuses and relays that could be really hard to find especially if you live in a small town if you're in the middle of nowhere one time we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't get one and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came so we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind so that thing doesn't happen with you we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from Hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.